Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video. And today, <laughs> Silento murdered his cousin. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it and kind of react to it. And, you know, I have a slight personal connection to Silento. He was actually supposed to perform at our school last year, but things didn't work out, so to speak. But, you know, it is what it is. And then when he found out that he was going to perform at all our school and like kids were flooding his comments. He was like, oh, I'm going to fly out tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And just nothing ever materialized. So I have a slight connection to Silent So, No, but anyways, um, I was just on Twitter and I saw he, you know, killed his cousin and I read an article about it. You know, basically sp spin the block, let off a shot and then left at high speeds. They confirmed with a bunch of neighbors cameras. So, yeah. But I think there's a bigger issue to this whole thing, and it's not really him killing his cousin. Uh, <laughs> um, there's 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 bigger problems, underlying problems uh, behind this thing, and you know after his viral hit of "Watch Me" or whatever that song, it has like over a billion views. You know he was on fire that summer. Like I'm telling you, this guy he was performing everywhere. He was going crazy. After that, it just, everything went downhill completely. And, you know, it's kind of sad watching fame get to somebody's head like that. Uh, you know, <laughs> literally. Sheesh. Um, yeah, it's sad because it's just, I, de I can definitely tell, you know, there were a lot of bad influences around him and the fame got to his head. Uh, he wasn't allowed to leave the... United Arab Emirates for multiple days because he failed to perform twice. Um, he had like booked shows and just didn't show up. Uh, he was caught speeding over 140 miles per hour and then said, it's because I'm different. He said, if 10 cars are following you, what are you going to do? Which I guess I can see, but I just need more context. Like 140, bro? How you pushing 140 on the highway like that? Just, okay. That's just dangerous. And then, um, you know, he had, like, some domestic violence charges last... I think there was literally two crimes he committed in one week. Uh, and then, you know, just got out on bail, obviously. But, you know, it's just really sad to see people go down this path. And he, w he was a talented kid, I'll tell you that. Uh, it was a catchy song, and it went crazy that one summer. Everyone was whipping and hitting nay nay and all that. But, you know, things have definitely gone downhill. Uh, he'll definitely be in jail for a while. I'm not sure how long. Uh, I don't know if they'll give him life. Probably not. But, yeah, sad. His cousin definitely had beef with him or something. Um, but, yeah, you could just look at the pictures, bro. He just doesn't doesn't look good. Um, so, you know, it's sad that he didn't get the help that he definitely needed. Um, and, you know, we just need to focus on mental health more in this country because it's a big issue. So that's all I really got to say. Uh, condolences to his cousin. And, you know, I hope he finds a way to get some help and improve his life in the penitentiary which you know our criminal justice system is bad enough so we'll see if that helps at all but leave a like subscribe and comment down below what you think of the situation and i'll catch y'all next time peace